When Kuki Shinobu was originally released, she was considered one of the worst characters in the game, due to lack of damage, bad electro application, and very questionable healing abilities, uh, to say the least. But everything changed when the Dead Incarnation arrived, because as we have seen during the last few months, uh, a Hyper Bloom teams uh, that use Cookie as the Electro Enabler has been performing extremely well, uh, because she can provide a bit of energy regeneration, a bit of healing, but more importantly, a good Electro application that has almost 100% uptime and does not remove uh, uh, enough of the other elements to take over completely the rotations. But what about Dory? When Dory was released, uh, the reception was pretty bad, because the first comparison was of course with Cookie, uh, both being an uh, off-field uh, healer that apply Electro. And she's not as good as Cookie in Hyper Bloom teams, or, although she can work uh, pretty well. Although for me, Dory's role, for the most part, uh, fits well in those teams where there are three other characters that synergize well with each other, provide a lot of damage already, and you just need a fourth character that is there to provide healing and supply with energy regeneration, and those are two things at which uh, Dory, I wouldn't say that she excels, but she definitely performs very well. And how well can she heal? But it ain't about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward, how much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done! While Cookie's kit is clearly better than Dory's when it comes to Hyper Bloom teams, uh, that does not mean that Dory cannot be equipped uh, to be played in the same kind of team. You just need to give her a lot of elemental mastery and walk around a little bit more than with Cookie. The reason why with Dory you will have to walk a little bit more than with Cookie uh, is that you don't really have an AoE Electro application uh, with Dory. Uh, you will have an Electro Infusion on, the, on your character, as well an Electro Line between you and the Lamp, which means that you have to physically walk to all the Bloom Seeds that you find on the ground, and this will activate them and trigger them. Uh, it can be a little bit annoying, you're going to miss uh, some of the Seeds uh, on, the on the ground for sure, and the they will just explode as Bloom Seeds, but if you're lacking Cookie and you have Dory, don't, don't think you have to wait uh, until a cookie rerun to play a nice uh, Hyper Bloom team. You, you can use Dory, she will be just as fine. Dory's Electro application has 100% uptime. This is because her burst lasts 12 seconds with a 20 second cooldown, but Elemental Reaction will reduce the cooldown uh, of her burst. This, in addition to her Elemental skill, especially if you use a Sacrificial Grade Sword, but it's not necessary, will allow you to always have Electro available somewhere, uh, to make sure that you activate all the Hyper Blooms on your target. There are a couple of annoying things about Dory's kit. Uh, the first one is that her healing is associated to her burst, meaning that if you need to heal your characters, you cannot just press elemental skill uh, like with Cookie. Uh, you have to make sure that you have enough energy recharge uh, to use uh, Dory's burst and then switch to the character that you want to heal up. Another thing worth mentioning is that her elemental skill works similarly to the Yona's elemental skill, meaning that if you're using a Sacrificial Greatsword, the cooldown reset of a Sacrificial Greatsword will only occur if Dory is on the field while the elemental skill hits the target. This is how I play my Dory basically all the time. I, I give the Sacrificial Greatsword because it fits her elemental skill very well, uh, and also it fits her color scheme very well, so her drip value goes up uh, significantly. More often than not, uh, the teams where I play her don't have a, a Noblesse user, so she's the one who carries it for the rest of the team, and I gave her full hit points, uh, but you can give her a healing hat if you have a, a nice hat with some energy recharge uh, and maybe some uh, hit point percentage uh, substat. Uh, she's not very needy in terms of substat, but you need to consider that she scales of hit points, meaning that bringing her to level 90 she will let her perform much better. So if you don't have Cookie, you have a level 20 Dory sitting around uh, and you would tr like to try some uh, Dendro related teams but you are lacking a healer, you are waiting for a Cookie rerun, mm, don't worry. Um, you can level up your Dory, give her a, a few artifacts and she will be performing very well for you. She has been performing very well for me even before I started to get uh, her constellations. Bye guys, take care.